I got this video. Bear with me. Oh, come on. Okay, I got this VHS at the library pretty much for... Well, I got it for free out of the junk section. I thought it was going to be the goofiest, lamest, lamest, cheesiest uh, cop crime movie ever. And it turned out to be the coolest infomercial I've ever seen. All seven hours and 45 minutes of it, which I watched all of. And here's a short clip that I thought was pretty cool. So check this out. Let me turn the volume. Okay. Here we go. Richard C. Davis and the sexy police pouch because fanny packs are so sexy. Now it's time to show you a new second chance prize. Pick up. Give me all your money. I'll be with you in a minute. Oh, please, sir, don't let me, sir. Please, 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 uh, statistics that come to our attention is that in the last couple of years, approximately 45% of all the policemen in America who were killed feloniously were killed off duty. This is astounding. This is a remarkable rise that's happened since 1990. And another 10% are either in plain clothes or undercover. So, you know, what they would not normally be wearing to seal about it. He's going to show a few more things about it. All kinds of pouches and get credit cards and whatnot in there. He's going to do a accidental, on purpose. And this will contain it, as we'll show you. We have a uh, on purpose accidental discharge oxymoron. Okay. See, Talking what happened? What happened case. with him? You know, about time, of course, because it wasn't done. Then he killed the bad guys. He just all wound up. Citizens call the police. They get a call. Police get a call. There's a shooting. There are a couple guys shooting each other in an alley. Uh, On-duty officers came, perhaps from another district, another city, another state. And he just killed a bad guy. He turned around. <laughs> this is what the guy did. He got, he got, he got a little buckshot and died. And uh, he wouldn't blame anybody. Well, so now, uh, you just had the opportunity to shoot. You killed a bad guy. He turned around. Oh, oh, yeah. I, I'm going to yield a cook. Okay, it's okay. Uh, my, my, my. We have a second chance police cops to give you okay. a second quality. That's just a uh, Velcro strap to help hold it in better. He's going to demonstrate. Oh. Left thumb as you reach for the pouch. Is such Some tips on how to uh, do it right. The left thumb's the key. The money out to give the guy. Mm -hmm. Left thumb behind the strap. You got it made. You draw it here. Toss the money out. I don't know. That's pretty much up here anyway. Toss the money out. What do you use? That's scared. That's pretty easy to do. Toss I would money be. Him and the money. Eyes will follow the money. His eyes gonna follow the money. Here's the money. You toss the money out, and see how fast you can. Boom. That is pretty darn fast, folks. And it's almost physically impossible for somebody to react to you pulling this. Okay, let's do this. Oxymoron here, Richard. Okay. And he's saying it's hard to grab. You can't, you know, you gotta know how to grab it. Not easy to snatch so, the gun the out of there. The shell parts are available. Uh, come on here. I just did another demo there. Okay, he's got a 45. Black talent, super deadly 45. It really is. Hollow point. It's kind of frightening what's out there nowadays, guys. But uh, black talent, 45 automatic, and uh, five inch barrel block. This is loaded. Take the magazine out. And I'm going to have here an on-purpose accidental discharge. That sounds sort of like an oxymoron, but uh, we're going to do it. And I think I'm going to get my fingers burnt on this. This is definitely not a problem. I'm too much to the philosophical answer is if you have to ask. We're going to get my fingers burnt here, but... There's 45 uh, black gallon accidental discharge into the police pouch. Ready, set. Uh, and that's a big deal. Very, very nice and active. I just took, <laughs> took my credit cards off, but the, uh, the gun is there, and... Yeah, he finds the bullet. It's still hot. It wasn't able to expand like that hollow point black town is supposed to. 
And he shows some damage where the threads came pulled loose there a little bit. Oh, here we go. Practice time. Wild West. It's the Wild West here. John Ken, they're both running with uh, primers only. And, uh, oh, good, he got the dummy on. I got the robot. Oh. Okay, we're going to load the police cars here. And, uh, okay, hurry up, Richard. Rules are there. An... You don't want to talk to that. That's what I'm going to say. But you don't, you don't get the fire. I'm, I'm, I'm seeing the money. You don't get the fire. You don't get the fire until, until, I, until I move, right? Okay. You're tall. I... Yada, yada, yada. Fight down, right? You chop the hammer, come on. Chop the hammer. You just pick up man off as soon as you move. You know what the rules are. You can't do it as soon as you move. You still try to do it. Yada, yada, yada. Yeah, she's a babe, boy. Now you're going to crack it. You're trying to be a meat fight. You really is. Watch both of you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, <laughs> Here we go. Oh, boy. He's got motivation now. Remember, Jack? This is Jack Shaft on our stage here. I saved your life from this. <laughs> you can't move more. Okay. <laughs> yeah, hell it is. I didn't even notice that he had the thing on. Jack, Jack wears that all the time. That's great. Okay. And one last thing I want to warn you about. Don't try to draw too fast. Even with the ballistic pouch there. Uh, well, I'll try to explain, but we've got some accidents. When... Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Here are some uh, 